Video tutorial number four. Where do you want your viewer to be and how do you want your viewer to experience your art? Where your horizon line is, or even your table line, affects not only where the viewer is going to be in relation to the scene you're creating, but it also affects the relationship that the viewer is going to have with whatever it is that you're expressing. So we're going to first take a scene that has a low horizon line. By having a low horizon line, we create a piece of art that is mostly sky. And as you can see, the viewer is removed, is looking at this, is observing this from a distance, and because it is mostly sky, it's a more, it's celestial, it's spiritual, it's, um, it's a different kind of experience. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, by not having any objects come all the way down to the bottom of the canvas or paper, um, all the objects are clearly removed. So we are observing this from a distance. It's a totally different feeling than if uh, you were right there in, in the midst of the art. Now I'm going to show you a piece of art with a high horizon line that creates a totally different effect. Here we have a high horizon line. The figures are right in the front. It's earthly, it's grounded, and it's intimate. It's a totally different feel than what we had from the last piece of art. We are right there in the middle of this scene and we, we can connect with them. We're not, we're not removed and observing it in a sort of spiritual sense, but we're connected to it intimately. Now I'm going to show you another example. Here we have a painting that has uh, sort of a medium horizon line. So we have enough sky that we can kind of get a sense of spirituality and the heavens, but we also have a tree that comes right to the front and the figure as well, so we feel the earthliness, the groundedness, and we're connected to what we see here, but we also have, at the same time, scale. We see objects at the very distance, so you get the entire scene. This is a, a totally different experience than what we had from the other two. Now I have another example of an interior scene where the viewer's place is affected by how the painting is created. Here is a painting by Van Gogh, a beautiful portrait of a woman sitting at a table. Because the table is in the front, clearly we are there with her. But because the table is at the front, it creates a barrier that separates us from her. So we are clearly observing her and observing this piece of art.